China's brief venture into elite football serves as a cautionary tale for Saudi Arabia. The Chinese men's squad at the Asian Cup were ordered to watch a documentary featuring Li Tai, a former teammate of Wayne Rooney. Li Tai, a former Everton midfielder and China international, confessed to his involvement in a corruption scandal in the Chinese Super League. This scandal ultimately led to his prison sentence. The China players were even required to write an essay on the lessons they learned from Li Tai's misadventures. However, despite these efforts, China performed poorly in the Asian Cup, failing to score a single goal. China's football boom eventually collapsed due to the changing political climate and high taxes imposed on imported players. Similarly, Saudi Arabia is experiencing a football boom fueled by state backed investment. The Saudi Pro League clubs spent a staggering £800 million on fees last January. However, this spending has significantly decreased, and the average attendance this season is only 8,400. The parallels between China and Saudi Arabia are clear, highlighting the risks of relying on foreign players to boost domestic interest. Saudi Arabia will host the 2034 World Cup, which keeps the ruling elite focused on the development of football. However, European football's cynicism towards Saudi Arabia is evident. European clubs are more interested in extracting money from the Saudi sovereign wealth fund than building a genuine partnership. The collapse of Chinese football serves as a cautionary tale for Saudi Arabia, emphasizing the need for a different approach. Saudi Arabia must learn from China's mistakes and avoid being solely focused on wealth extraction. They need to invest in the game and build international credibility to engage the domestic audience. However, the ultimate goal should not be to please European football, but to develop a sustainable and successful football culture in Saudi Arabia. China's football market was exploited by European clubs, leading to its collapse. The fate of Hebei China Fortune, a club involved in Li Tai's match-fixing scandal, exemplifies the short-lived success of Chinese football. Founded in 2009, the club had a diverse range of managers, but financial troubles and poor performance resulted in its ultimate demise. Saudi Arabia has the opportunity to do better than China, but it must learn from the past. The authoritarian state playbook for leveraging football's popularity has clear lessons. It requires significant investment, but also a strategic approach that prioritizes the development of the game within the country rather than simply satisfying the interests of European football. Saudi Arabia must aim for long-term success and sustainability, rather than short-term gains.